You are all familiar with the term science. You know the science, the meaning of science. Today we are going to learn about the importance of science, the branches of science and meaning and importance of chemistry. So first we will learn the definitions of science. Science is a systematic study of the natural world based on the facts learned by careful observation and experimentation. This term is most important, experimentations. So for science, we need some experiment. And from these experiments, we will derive some observation and conclusion. This is the definitions of science. Now, people who work for the development of science through experimentation and observation are called scientists. So these people, this same group of people will develop the science through different different experiment. Now science has been broadly classified into three main branches. It has been broadly classified into three main branches Physics, Chemistry and Biology So our topic based on this chemistry First we will learn the definitions of chemistry Chemistry is a branch of science that deals with the study of the composition, structure the physical and chemical properties of matter. Properties. You will deal with the physical, chemical properties of matter. The changes that it undergoes. The changes. As well as the uses of various chemical substances. Uses of various chemical substances are also important for the chemistry. Scientists who study about chemistry are called chemists. Now, chemistry, this branch is very, very, very important for our everyday life. Chemistry is everywhere in the world around us. Now, chemistry helps us to understand the world in a better way. It explains why things behave the way they do. In our everyday life, we are going to connect the item of, of the daily use and what are the chemicals present in the definitions we have learned that chemistry the uses of various chemical substances uses of various chemical substances we are going to connect this one with different substances of our daily uses first the toothpaste the morning will start with the toothpaste fluoride Glycerol, sorbitol, calcium carbonate. These are the main chemicals present in toothpaste. Main chemicals present. The most important chemicals, fluoride. It will act as a bleaching agent. Next, ink. What are the chemicals present? Linseed oil, organic pigments. They will impart color and the solvent. Solvent are the substances which dissolve these organic pigments. Important eraser. Eraser made up of a polymer of 1,3-butadiene and styrene. And the name of this polymer is Buna S. However, the main ingredient of eraser are 1, 3 butadiene and styrene. Pencil, another important item for our everyday life. Made up of graphite, wax, and other chemicals. For colored pencils, organic pigments are also used. So, this is so chemistry is everywhere in the world around us. Chemistry 
allows us to learn about how things work. Most of the changes observed in the world are caused by the chemical reactions. So, we are directly or indirectly dependent on this chemistry. Now, we have to learn the different branches of chemistry. Chemistry can be broadly classified into three main branches. And these branches are inorganic chemistry, organic chemistry, and physical chemistry. Inorganic chemistry, it is the study of elements and compounds other than carbon and hydrocarbon. It is the study of elements other than carbon or compounds other than hydrocarbon. What is hydrocarbon? Hydrocarbon are the compounds made up of carbon and hydrogen only. Hydro, this term derived from hydrogen, carbon, carbon, definitely. So these are, these are the compounds made up of only carbon and hydrogen. So this branch of chemistry deals with the study of the elements and the compounds other than carbon and hydrocarbon. Another most important branch of chemistry is organic chemistry. We already heard the term organic pigments. Organic chemistry. It is the study of carbon and carbon compounds. This branch deals with the study of carbon and the compounds of carbon. Most important is the physical chemistry. It is a study of principles, methodologies of chemistry. What are the principles? What are the laws behind this chemical reaction? Why these things happen? These are the. Uh, these can be explained by the help of these different laws, different equations of physical chemistry. It also deals with the chemical structure, physical properties of a substance. So physical properties of a substance like density, uh, measurements of volume, mass, etc. Chemical structure, what are the structures of this compound present, what types of bonds are present, what are the main ingredients are present. It will also be under the scope of the physical chemistry. So physical chemistry it is the study of principles of methodologies and chemistry. However, children we have learned the main science, we have learned the term scientists who deals with the science. It is the systematic study of natural world based on the observation and experimentation. Science classified into three main branches physics chemistry biology now today's topics is based on that chemistry uh, the name of the chapter is introductions of chemistry chemistry the meaning it is a branch of science that deals with the study of composition structure physical and chemical properties of matter that changes the changes that it undergoes as well as the uses of various chemicals we have connected these uses of various chemicals through this chart. The different chemicals used in toothpaste, ink, eraser, pencils, we have discussed all these things. And finally, we have discussed the branches of chemistry. There are three branches, inorganic chemistry, organic chemistry, and physical chemistry. Understood? There are several other branches also, but the main classifications of the chemistry, inorganic, organic, and physical. So, we have learned the term science, chemistry, importance of chemistry. Student, stay home, stay safe.